hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial video in today's tutorial we're going to be making this dress from the start to the finish the cutting tutorial is up on the channel already you can also check that out please endeavor to like share and subscribe this is what it looks like this is the back and then this is the front so i place the back on over the front like so so you can see what the neckline is looking like then the next thing remember i used one inch as seam allowance okay so i'm going to be using that one inch to stitch it down okay just make sure that the upper chest area is firm enough because if it's not firm enough it's going to be looking very very funny so make sure that you make that place firm every other part apart from the upper chest area can be free so if you like you just bring out your hand by half an inch just make sure it is free enough because you remember there is no zipper allowance for this dress so that you can take it up and wear it you know with ease but just make sure that the upper chest area is firm enough to give her that smart look okay so i'm going to be marking out the body measurement so i mark out the one inch on both sides of the dress and then i'm going to be stitching it down just like i'm marking like so you can see that i'm bringing my hand outward so that's how i'm going to be stitching it all the way down and now that i'm done stitching guys this is what it looks like and next i'll be opening up the stitch with a pressing iron so i'm going to be opening that stitch down so this is what the stitch opening looks like on both sides and i would like to let you understand that at this point it's either you have turned it with an interfacing or you weave the edge of your fabric okay i'm just uh, skipping that step in order not to make this video too long so make sure you have interfaced your dress or you weave because after this point by the time you start placing your peplum on this body you are not you won't be able to do any of that anymore so i turn to the outer part of the dress and now guys i'm going to be marking out the points that i'll be placing the peplum on remember that for the length of the peplum we have three steps for the peplum and we cut out um, 12 inches for each peplum but we are not going to be marking the 12 inches because the peplum are going to be overlapping each other so i'm going to be marking 10 inches for, apart from each of the pep and then i place my table at this straight part not the curved armhole area so i place it at that point and then i mark out the 10 inches so i'm going to be marking that from this end to the other end and after i am done marking i connect the points together so, and from this point i mark the next 10 inches as well so i mark all that and i also connect so now we have the three points where the peplum will be attached to ready so the up the middle and the lower and at this point i'm going to be folding and ironing it so that the point is going to be reflecting on the other part of the dress as well and i do the same thing to this lower part as well i iron and that is it so guys i'm done ironing and this is what it looks like on this side and if i flip over to the reverse side of the dress i'm still going to be seeing the points so it makes it easier for me to know the point to attach the peplum on so i get the peplum and then i slash it open into two like so so after that you can see that i have it in two i have it now in two so i'm going to be joining it together on the side to give us a one full peplum so at this point i just joined it on one part and this is what the full peplum looks like so for the peplum at this point it's either you have put your interface in as well or you are going to be blocking the tip or you should be ready to fold the edge that to hem the edge okay so you either must have done one of them at this point before you start placing it on the base of the dress so i come back to the base of the dress and i'm going to be stitching the peplum around the upper part like so but i'm going to be starting from this other side that's the arm one of the armhole areas so i'm going to be placing the peplum on that part and then i'm going to be stitching all the way around from one armhole and back to where i started so i'm done stitching the first peplum on the upper part of the dress so this is what it looks like and then i get the second peplum and then i'm going to be raising up the first one this is because like i said it's going to be overlapping each other you can see so i take that up and then at that point i place the second uh, peplum on the point that i marked and after i am done with the second one i move ahead and place the third one on the third layer and guys after i'm done this is what it looks like looking very beautiful and the essence is that you know the lower upper one should always overlap the next one just make sure that the upper part of the one beneath is not showing unless you raise up the one that is covering it so this is what it should look like so we are left with the strap area of the dress and to get that done i'm going to be measuring like we said the across chest is 10 inches for the front 
and because of the back because of the one inch that we took in it should be adding like one inch to the back so we have that to be 10 inches for the front and then 11 inches for the back that's for the across chest and across back so i'm going to be cutting on bias the strap that i'm going to be using to tape those points so i have this cut out and i'm going to be using this to tape you know the front and then the back of the dress so i have it cut out so i'm going to be measuring to make sure that it's able to take the front and the back so i have the front to be 10 inches and then the back to be 11 inches so this strap is enough for the front and then the back so i'm going to be placing it like so just the way you use your bias to tape a dress so that's basically what i'm going to be doing here apart from the armhole at this point and as you can see i have it taped already you can see what it looks like so this is how neatly it was taped and next i proceed to cutting out the piece i'm going to be using for the strap of the length of 15 inches okay that's the off shoulder length times two that's seven plus seven which is 14 plus one 15 and then i stitch around like so 